Okay guys, arrived in Holbrook. That's HMA Saltway. It's the second submarine I served on. It's diesel electric. Diesel engines, pushing generators, providing electrical power and the batteries. Batteries supply the power to the um, whole submarine. Wherever it be, the propellers, the lights, cooking, everything. It's a very nice submarine to be on. Great crew. It was back in the 1990s. All right, I'm gonna catch a bunch of guys over the back there. I'm thinking they're all submariners. I'm gonna catch up with them. Catch you guys later. You can see the props weren't exactly huge on the submarines, but they pushed it quite readily. The after planes, making the submarine go up and down. The conning tower of an AE-2 submarine. It's a different sort of submarine again. Yeah, you can see it's HMA Saltway, Holbrook, New South Wales, adopted home of the Australian Submarine Squadron. The big bulb at the front was the main, well, we call it the main window. This is the sonar. Get the forward planes, helping the submarine go up and down as well. These whole here, heavy birthing horses come out of here. If I remember right. Not a lot of room under there. I'll set the camera in, it'll be a sideways view, but you'll be able to have a look. like the boys are already at the pub it's only 10 30 in the morning <laughs> it's conning tower another sonar up the conning tower another one there halfway down can't remember what the sonars they were wasn't really my job Conning tower hatch. That's where we'd um, run on a surface, steaming along. We'd come out of the conning tower hatch, barbecue on the casing up here, generally between the four planes, and um, have barbecues in the middle of the ocean. You think you're cool? A barbecue on Australia Day? Not as cool as someone has done it on a submarine in the middle of the ocean. Oh, bugger. Stairs. That is not my thing. Oh. Jesus. So when we were at sea, we didn't have guardrails. You attach a hook into the rail there and just slide along. Uh, you generally weren't allowed on the sub and surface if it was really rough, unless it was a man overboard and there was only certain people. That's the forward accommodation space hatch. It's the main entry in and out of a submarine. That was the emergency beacon, if I remember right. Was don't screw that up when you're painting and chipping it away. This is the pitot loading hatch. The pitot's come down at an angle of 45 degrees, loaded in by a crane from the wharf, and we took the weight inside the submarine on a hydraulic hoist, uh, just up and down. That's all it did. Didn't do much else. You got bollards on the top here, capstan, and you got the controls for the capstan. There it was done by hydraulics. This would be the forward escape tower hatch. And then you get under the submarine, under here, to or under the uh, casing of the submarine to get to the ropes and berthing hawsers. There were times at sea we would pop these forward hatches here. There's also storage. And as you're steaming along, the water would come in through the bow caps. It'd be like a big spa under the dome. Got your mask, for a periscope, after periscope, radar, WT mask, snort induction, can't remember what the other one is, and then snort exhaust. That'd be uh, snorting while you're underwater. 
65 feet or something like that a long time ago and uh yeah you can run the engines while you're under you mainly only do it um in exercises at night so the submarine would come to the proscope depth at night sometimes on the surface and we would run the engines to recharge the batteries before we went down again and then hope you don't run out of oxygen which is just like diving you hope you don't run out of oxygen I'm not going down the side path I'm gonna go down and go to the pub and see the boys catch us over there so now what I'll do is I'll hang you over to spring eater for just our annual toast for the guys. Hey, do oh, a bit of a That's toast a for Australia Day. Here, <laughs> 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 well, more social than the ones we used to do at Pax Wet Bar where it was just hand the bottles of port around. Now we've got little glasses. On the bench, guys. Ooh. Go on. You know you want to do it. First off, let's just a few things and thank you um, to Redders who originally started organising this Australia Day and now it's uh, become bigger than Ben Hur, which is great to see everyone. Not that we can remember everyone's faces. Especially me. Remember your hand. <laughs> I, remember, so I, I remember Plyro owes us all money. <laughs> now, this toast today is to, you know, we've lost some, some special people again this year. Uh, one only two days ago. Jack Jack. We've lost Benny Hill. We've lost uh, John Ambler. Joey Fish, Tommy, Tommy Duncan, Mel Short, Mel Short yeah. Yeah. in a very short period. You know, and our numbers are just disappearing. You know. I think these sort of days, is, you know, it's in prompt. Right? We just catch up, we drink too much, we talk too much shit, but you know, we love each other's company and, you know, We'd love everyone to keep on, keep on coming to these sort of events. And I just want to get everyone to raise their glasses. Now this is for lost and for present. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Cheers. 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 And don't forget, three of the guys that passed this year have been at the Australian Day do, so make sure you come again next year. You never know how you can up. Also, we've had the blessing from the Bishop Delby. <laughs> he said he's best and wish, wish he could have been here. <laughs> <laughs> he's fighting. He's fighting God at the moment. Oh. For his next wedding's Arnie's. <laughs> 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 yeah. Are you the groom? <laughs> going the wrong way. Get in on stage. We need to go over to the front of the submarine and get our group photo photo again. again. Shall I lie to all your friends and tell them it's a really good sight? Okay. What are we doing? So everyone's rocking up now for an annual photo in front of the submarine. Holbrook. Bunch of degenerates. They all make me look skinny, so that's awesome. <laughs> Even Bob makes me look skinny, it's awesome. <laughs> Got all the plaques, Oway Ovens, Oxley, Dolphin, Porpoise, pretty much plaques from the UK and Australia. Got the new subs. Collins class or C class. Uh, should say, shouldn't I? Collins, Funkum, Waller, Deshante, Sheen, and Rankin. Story starts with a daring raid by a young submarine commander, Dan Danellas, during a World War One that led to the sinking of Turkish battleship and the renaming of a small town in country New South Wales. With anti-German feelings running high in Australia, the residents of German, German and 
decided to change the name of the town to something more practical. This is what I'm trying or to Patriot, I should say. I recorded that. <laughs> uh, that would have been good. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't because I got claustrophobia. Oh, got a couple of them. I tried to put down the A couple of them. Yeah. One of but none of them. And these guys before. It's pretty cool. It's obviously a kit from the earlier subs, not that I was on them. With the pitter tube. You'd have six of these guys stacked up on <laughs> escape suits. So when we did have to escape from a submarine, we wore these suits and you just floated in the water on the surface until someone picked you up. Yeah. Right? Going, guys. Yeah. So all these old ladies did a Yellow submarine covering. It's a bit of it there, obviously. Kiss the dolphins. Wham with pride. Just about every guy out there has dolphins tattooed on his chest. Different submarine badges from around the world. I've got that one, that one, that one, that one, and of course, that one. Oh, I also have an Italian one which is not on here. Well, that's interesting, that's something they don't have. The badges, and that's how we used to dress at sea. <laughs> we wore whatever we wanted to. And that's what our toilets were like. So to give you an idea, yeah. back in and try and shut it up. It's uh, very awkward. Oh, God, it hurts. <laughs> There's the captain's cabin. Didn't exactly have a lot of room himself. Very little room. But uh, submarines are not roomy. Yeah, they didn't do a bad job. Uh, oh, it's terrific, uh, isn't it? Because uh, I think the fellow did it. It was all like photos. Right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks a bit wider than it should be, eh? It, it's, <laughs> it, it is amazingly close, though, for a model. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it's, it's done a really good job. Yeah, I used to do um, volunteer tool guide on uh, Onslow at the Maritime Museum. <clears throat> yeah. This is yeah. the uh, OMC one man control. Yeah. So. Yeah. Steering and depth, all done from here. Little voice cock going up to the bridge when you're on the surface. Is that how they looked? No. I was going to say, I don't remember that. No. Ours was different, wasn't it? Yeah, and then this was up above it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Above. They've actually, they've got, they've got also a watch panel in the box. Uh, oh, okay. They're ready to go ready in. They got it off the time. Yeah, because you had your telegraphs. And, uh, I'll say the time. That's 
two gauges that should be there. Yeah. I know where they are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to bring them back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was it Q&B or the Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this isn't quite right for the sound room. The sound rooms took off that way, and they had all the yeah, no, sonar instruments. It's a plotter. <laughs> for a periscope, after periscope. And no smell of poo. Yeah. <laughs> or diesel, or body sweat. <laughs> In here, you literally have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight to ten people on watch. Um, very tight. Going up here, you got officers' bunks. They really didn't get much more than anyone else. This is the officers' mess. So they had day bunks. So the officers didn't get a lot more space than any of the other sailors. But yes, they had their own cabin or cabin for everyone. This is the stewards area. I used to have valves and crap all through here. Um, good spot to get hot water at night. I can hate the down bits. I hate going down. Going upstairs is not so bad. <laughs> Okay, so the submarine's ran on battery power, and that's one cell. So you'd have, uh, I think it was 224 to a battery. Lead acid. They work, did their job. Oh, there we go. We've got E class, J class, O class, K class. Oberon and Collins. We have new ones to come out soon which will be nuclear. Um, we'll see how that goes. Okay. Emily. Oh, this is some sort of holograph thing. Oh, here we go. bulkheads used to look like so we'd be running through these carrying our gear fires whatever we're doing ammunitions food everything it's a solid bit of metal and the door is extremely heavy if that guy swung on you and you didn't have it um didn't have your leg out you'd uh you'd know it it would hurt <laughs> I said earlier it's better tubes what i used to work on seven interlocks to make sure you can't open it if you shouldn't be opening it. 
So pretty much if the tube was flooded, you'd fire the weapon off, get the bow caps open, you couldn't open the rear door at all. Seven locking safety locks. It's Australia Day. Juice Doors is with a bunch of submariners. Holbrook, HMO Saltway over there. Just went through the museum. This is the third take I've done of this because I keep pressing the wrong buttons. But yeah, happy Australia Day, guys. We've had eggs, bacon, sausages, steak on the barbie. Everyone's feeding up. Everyone's already drinking. It's only 10 o'clock because evidently that's what you do. Personally, I'm just having a uh, iced coffee. All right, guys, have a good Australia Day.